Playing everything from a princess to a president, Robin Wright has shown she has the right stuff. She's in conversation with our Lee Cowan. Just to wake up and hear just birds, you don't hear planes or trains or automobiles, nothing. You just hear nature. Nearly alone, at some 8,000 feet, up in the remote Canadian wilderness, actress Robin Wright is taking on the great outdoors instead of the wilds of Washington. Principled, idealistic, a champion for the people. What did you ever actually do? Nothing. Maybe because six years on a stage shooting House of Cards, we weren't outside very much. Never. <laughs> like, never. Let's just really make a departure and, and go to the other end of the spectrum. <laughs> I want to notice more. Know more about here, be able to survive here, appreciate it. Wright's latest character is a broken woman who abandons everything she knows and retreats to a mountaintop. It's not a good idea to be out here without a vehicle. I'll be fine. The film is called Land. What we've been seeing the last four years, it was just encouraging more meanness in the world. I just wanted to make a film about human kindness. And do you think in the end that's what this is about? I do. Why are you helping me? You were in my path. Wright not only stars in the film, she directs it too. Second team can set up and I'll bring you back. You certainly did not pick an easy film logistically to be <laughs> your no. directorial debut, did you? Did not, nope. Didn't uh, <laughs> think about that at the time. Parts of this high terrain in Alberta can deliver four seasons, sometimes in a single day. You've got 4,000 people asking you questions every 10 minutes, you know, where do you want this? What are we doing? And then you've got to jump in front of the camera and have a breakdown scene. And I would just have one take in me and then I'd dry up and I'd be so mad at myself. Happy Independence Day to me. She's used to playing both sides of the camera. She directed several episodes of Netflix's House of Cards too, including the season finale. Full turn into 20 year old Save And yet, she remains one of a small group of women in Hollywood being handed the reins to direct. Should I, can I? Yes, you can, you can do it. You just have to be committed to your strength and your confidence that you can do it. Her roles are often strong women. So what you saw didn't happen. Never let your guard down. Intimidating, even. You expect a battle to be fair. A battle will never be fair. Wright has a softer side, of course. Her Instagram shows that. Glamour shots, yes. But if you ask women in the Democratic Republic of the Congo, those pajamas Wright is wearing are a lifesaver. Two decades of civil war have left that country in shambles. Rebels often use rape as a tool of war. When you're raped in that country, you're disowned by your family because it's your fault. Yeah. Their family has been dismantled. They're living in refugee camps, walking three miles to go get water outside of a refugee camp and not knowing if you're going to be raped or killed every day of your life. So. Money from the sales of those pajamas, under the brand name Pour la Femme, goes to help those women in the Congo and other conflict zones all around the world. There you go, if you're thinking that sounds a lot like her former actor-activist husband, Sean Penn, perhaps. But those days are far behind her. Her two kids with Penn are now grown, and Wright got married again, and is doing her best to keep that side of her life away from the glare of the spotlight. It takes a lot of work, though, to be private. I don't know, does it? You just become more astutely aware of being private, knowing what to share and what not to share in interviews, things like that. Robin Wright grew up in Texas, but moved to Southern California, where as a teen, she started chasing roles in John Hughes movies. That's all you wanted. You wanted to be in a John Hughes movie. 16 Candles, 16 Breakfast Club. Can oh, yeah. I read for all of them Did multiple really? times and didn't get any of them. <laughs> <laughs> Damn you, Molly Ringwald. Molly Ringwald. <laughs> but before the 80s had ended, she landed the part 
of a princess. Why didn't you wait for me? Well, you were dead. Death cannot stop true love. All it can do is delay it for a while. I will never doubt again. Is there anything you haven't been asked about that movie? I always get the same question over and over. Do you believe in true love, the way the movie states? Yes, I do. And they always ask about Andre the Giant. Everybody wants to know what he was like. Now I have to ask him, what was he like? The sweetest puppy. Massive, gentle giant. Hello, Forrest. A few years later, Hello, Jenny. came her role as Jenny in Forrest Gump. His name's Forrest. Like me. I named him after his daddy. He got a daddy named Forrest, too? You're his daddy, Forrest. It certainly opened up a lot of doors for you, I imagine. Was that a little overwhelming? It's what you want, but I was so immersed in being a mom. Why not just pace your career? You have to become a star, and then that star fades out because you do too much, you're seen too much. I knew I never wanted to be that. We make each other stronger. Can we agree to that? She did pace herself. When House of Cards first came along, she was in her late 40s. But before taking it, she still had questions for executive producer David Fincher. I just don't have the desire to take time out of my life to just be arm candy of a senator on a show or a governor. And he said, I promise you it won't be. You ever get lonely out here? Sometimes. I know I'd be more lonely there than here. Her latest role is a different kind of strong. Her skills as a director, different too. But she's hardly done with either. Do you know what's next? I want to direct more. <laughs> yeah? Yeah. Do you ever see yourself stepping behind the camera for good? For good, no. For good, no. I don't think so. After all, the view from her career mountaintop is pretty good.